just one more. Tea time was over, bath time was over. That meant just one thing. Story time, cried little brown bunny. So Mama Bunny read him a story, then another, then another. Just one more, begged little brown bunny. So Papa read him one more story, right to the end. Still, Bunny said, just one more? Granny's turn, cried Papa Rabbit. When Granny had read all the dragon books and Grandpa had read them again, little brown bunny still wanted just one more. Mama Rabbit gave a great big yawn. But little brown bunny, look, she said, we've read all your stories, see? No more stories means it's time for sleep. Oh, said Bunny. Maybe, he whispered, I'll make a bedtime book, a super, super long one. Then story time will last all night. Next morning, Bunny hopped out of bed. Hooray, he cried, time to make my story. He bounced across his making to his making things box. Soon he was writing big, long words and drawing lots of pictures. At last, he heaved up his heavy book. This was going to be the longest story ever. Are you sitting comfortably? He asked his toys. We might be here a long, long time. Two minutes later, it was all over. Oh, sighed Bunny. My super long story wasn't super long at all. Don't worry, said Mama Bunny. Why don't you go and ask your friends what stories they like? Then you can add them to your book. You're so clever, cried Little Brown Bunny, and off he went. Little Owl was playing with his rocket when Bunny bounced in. The stories I like best, Owl hooted, are ones about the moon. One day, I'm going to fly there. Zoom! I love the moon too, said Bunny. Thanks, Owl. And he blasted off to find Little Mouse. Little Mouse was having a teeny snack when Bunny bounded in. I love stories about cheese, she mumbled. Big cheese, small cheese, round cheese, smelly cheese, any cheese, really. Thanks, Mouse, giggled Bunny, holding his nose. And he raced off to find Little Wolf. Little Wolf was having a tea party when Bunny came by. Well, I do love stories about piggies, he said, and that grandma with the big furry ears. The story I like, grinned Big Papa Wolf, is the one all about hugs. Oh, Papa, giggled Little Wolf, what big arms you have. All the better to hug you with, chuckled Papa Wolf, and he gave his boy a big Papa kiss on the nose. Thanks for your help, Bunny called. Then he huffed and puffed all the way back home. Little Brown Bunny got out his book and scribbled down stories of moons made of cheese and rockets and big fluffy hugs. By the time he had finished, it was dark outside. Come on, everyone, he called. This is going to be the best, most super duper storybook ever. He opened it ever so carefully and took a big, deep breath. Then Little Brown Bunny fell fast asleep.